Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is the School for Extraterrestrial Girls, Volume 1. This is a Girl on Fire kicking off the series. Uh, it's written by Jeremy Whitley with Jamie uh, Noguchi as the artist. Uh, and then Color Assist by Shannon Lilly, lettering by Wilson Ramos Jr. Uh, so this has been out for a while. Paper Cuts uh, acquired it, I think, a bit ago. Uh, and we are getting a, I don't know if we got a re-release or whatever, uh, with a new volume coming out, I believe, in November, December. Uh, they're making sure the first volume is out there for people to enjoy. So taking this opportunity to review it now, we're able to get a copy of this at Baltimore Comic Con from Paper Cuts. So I'm kind of excited because I've wanted to read it for a while. Uh, Jeremy, I think, is a fantastic writer, and I always expect something really, really solid from him. Uh, and, you know, exactly what I got to experience on this. Uh, this is, it's a good read. This is an entertaining, um, it's, 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 it's interesting. So the story is about this girl named Tara Smith, who turns out is actually an alien. Uh, her parents aren't who she says, or aren't who they say they are, uh, and she's taken away to a school for extraterrestrial girls. Uh, there she needs to basically come, you know, into acceptance as to who she really is, uh, and the question is, who is she? Um, what alien race is she? You know, why does she keep on catching on fire? And also, like, what's up with all the other alien girls in her school? Uh, so yeah, it's it's a very interesting read, and there's definitely a lot of layers you can get into this. Um, I I definitely see like a an LGBT parable. I see a trans par parable. Um, it's a, it's a story really about kind of discovering who you really are. Not necessarily what's on the surface, but what's inside. Um, and not just discovering, but also coming to accepting that and being able to share that with others. And then the other on the flip side is accepting others who they are as well. Um, so it's really this like interesting story about acceptance. Really just about acceptance. Uh, and making friends no matter who they are, or how, what they look like, um, it, you know, everything and anything. Uh, and it's, it's cool. Like, I like it. There's, it's, it's, it's some good art. It's a good storytelling. It's, it's intriguing. Like, I think it's a really, really good setup. Um, and a very interesting concept and world that's, like, created. You know, think about, think of it kind of like almost like a Men in Black in high school, if that makes sense. But, like... The aliens are the focus, not the actual men in black. So it's a bunch of aliens from all over the like universe, and they're in this school kind of like as part of a treaty and program. And, um, it's There's a lot there that I think it's, it's pretty interesting, pretty cool. The characters all have some great personalities. And um, this is where she finds out she has her power. Um, all, the, all the characters definitely have a lot of personality, and I think there's uh, clearly a lot of thought about... Uh, the alien races, how they interact, like their what their personalities would be, um, what they bring, what they don't bring. Like, it, there's a lot of detail on it, and I, I really dig and enjoy. Um, overall, like it's it's a solid read. It's it's entertaining. I I can see uh, especially younger readers getting really into it. Um, you know, it has that good like tweenish quality about it, if that makes sense. Uh, or uh, you know, there's there's a lot that you can go in and enjoy and just like appreciate. So yeah, like it's a it's a good read. It's an entertaining read. I like it. Like I can't wait to read the second one uh, and see where it all goes because the first one ends in a kind of a, an interesting like coming up next sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a it's a really good setup. Like it's a good origin volume if that makes sense. Uh, you can go get it. As I said, it's it's out now again in shops. We got a link beneath this video. Open your zip code. It'll tell if a shop's near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage, and by doing that, you'll support our site. So thank you for that. And speaking of support, I want to thank Paper Cuts for opening us up with a review copy, and appreciate you all uh, watching. If you are into comics or into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mass on Threads, Blue Sky, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep a geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.